into the open form questions. I know I sent you a long list of questions this morning from Stream Facts. I think I may take two or three because I also okay. have to speak um, not too long after this live stream. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but and I also see that Mark Alex also you put a question in the chat, but we'll take one question from before. And then we'll take your question, Brother Mark. And welcome, Rose, to the SDA Church. We pray that you are blessed by this ministry and that you will continue to learn and grow um, in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. So we'll take this question. This question comes from Michael. He says, I am 23 years old and from Ghana. I have, bat I have been battling with the issue of profits over the years. Mm -hmm. I would like to know if the Seventh-day Adventist Church Aside from the ministry of Ellen G. White, mm -hmm. has other people who are called by God to be prophets in these last days. And 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28 is quoted, which reads, mm -hmm. and God hath set some in the church, mm -hmm. first apostles, secondary mm -hmm. prophets, mm -hmm. third teachers, after mm -hmm. that miracles, then mm -hmm. gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, that's true. And this, the Bible shows that to be the case. God has had prophets from Enoch, as far as we are right until Ellen White, which is a prophet in our church. The church does not recognize anyone as a prophet since Ellen White. If God sends a prophet to the church, he will somehow let the church know. He doesn't just let some one person know that's it. He will let his church know through his ordained system. And so we are not aware of any prophet to the Seventh-day Adventist Church since Ellen White, who passed away in 1915, after seven years of faithful service. But the gift of prophecy has not yet ended. God may elect or choose to raise up someone else. But as far as the church is aware, and the church knows, since Ellen White ended the ministry, or God called her to rest, there has not been a specifically called prophet. Now, in, in, you know, in these other churches, everybody's a prophet. You know, prophet John and prophet this and prophet Anisha. Everybody's a prophet, you see. But God has not raised up a prophet in this church since Ellen White. Not someone the church has recognized. Now, from time to time, even Ellen White did with people calling themselves prophets. And some leaders would listen to them. But the church has never recognized anyone since LOI, and the church is God's system for recognizing when God is doing this or that. So no, we don't recognize any other prophets since LOI. Now, God speaks to people in different ways, yes, but the discrete office of prophet, we've had not had, not had one since LOI, died in 1915. And if you don't know who LOI is, please find out, read her writings. First book I recommend, Steps to Christ. Please read it, Steps to Christ. Next question. This question comes from. By the way, Alex? let me say this. Oh, if yes. someone comes to you saying I'm a prophet, say excuse me and just walk away. Please. Prophets are not self-appointed. The, the world is overrun with self-appointed, particularly in Africa and other places. Everyone's a prophet. If someone says so, I'm a prophet, you say, okay, God bless you. Walk away before the person puts error into your head. Prophets do not call themselves let me be very, very clear they are called by god no prophet who is any prophet at all will come to you saying i am a prophet mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. It reminds me of satan's last great deception when he yes. comes and says i'm jesus and jesus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well he won't be the first one we have a lot of people who call themselves jesus That's and true. those who follow them end up dead in disgraceful way 